Hi guys, welcome back. It is mid-August. Today is a beautiful day here at the cabin. Uh, the last few days have been cold. The girls have gone out ATVing and today I wanted to chat about my solar panels, how I connected them and why I connected them the way that I did. Now there are really two different ways to connect a circuit. You can either connect a circuit in series or in parallel. So the difference between a series and a parallel connection is very simple. When you connect in series, you're connecting your panels uh, from the positive one to the negative to the next and so on and so forth. Uh, when you're connecting your panels in parallel, all the positives are together and all the negatives are together. Now there are pluses and minuses to both of these. Connecting your panels in series is very easy. You don't need any additional hardware or connectors. You just basically plug the positive of one to the negative of the next. Uh, to connect in parallel, you can get connectors uh, that will make this parallel connection. I got mine from Renergy, which is where I bought my electrical system from. So your panels will have a placard on the back, and on that placard you will see the optimum operating voltage and the optimum operating current. So when I look at my array of eight panels, if I was to connect them all in series, I would maintain the 4.93 amps, but the 20.3 volts uh, would add throughout the series, which would give me roughly 162 volts. Now connecting the panels in parallel would have the opposite effect. I would maintain the 20.3 volts, but the 4.93 amps would be multiplied by eight, giving me just under 40 amps. Now this is where things get a little bit interesting. So ultimately you wanna keep your amperage as low as possible because that will affect the size of the wire that you're using to run the current through. So in theory, you should just connect everything in series and that would maintain a lower amperage. The problem with that is because it's connected in series, if you have less sun on one of your panels, it'll affect the entire array and give you a reduced amount of power coming into your system. However, to connect it all in parallel, you would have an amperage so high that you would have to have very thick wire uh, and you would have to have fusing in the system and then it becomes uh, counterproductive with regards to cost. And that is really why most people, including me, have some level of series and parallel within their solar grid. So for my system, because I don't want to have 40 amps running in it, I have connected two banks of four panels in series. And I've connected those two banks of panels in parallel with each other. So what does that do to my voltages and my currents? So now each of my banks of four panels connected in series will be producing roughly 80 volts, but will maintain that 4.93 amps. Now, when I take those two banks of four panels and I connect them in parallel, I maintain that 81.2 volts and my current doubles from 4.93 to 9.86 amps. Now for me, this uh, level of current that my system is running, which is just under 10 amps is perfect. It suits my wire size, it suits my fusing, uh, but I'm gonna recommend that you also chat with someone who knows what they're doing before you do this because the whole reason you're fusing your cables at all is to prevent them from burning. If you have an overcurrent uh, and your cable is not big enough, it will burn. That's the idea behind the fuse, to pop that fuse and stop that current flowing. So if you do do this incorrectly and you do have uh, too much current running through your system and is not fused properly, uh, you will likely start a fire and burn down your cabin, boat, RV, van, whatever you're wiring few other pointers, uh, you always want to make sure that you're staying under the maximum system voltage. In my case, on my panels, that is 600 volts. I am well under that uh, with running the system the way I am. The other thing you want to be aware of is your short circuit current, and this is also listed on your uh, placard on the back of your panels. So at the end of the day, it doesn't really matter how you wire these up, you're going to get the same power output. It all really comes down to safety and how much current you're pulling through the wires. Are your wires rated to pull that current? And do you have proper fusing in the circuit should you exceed that current to shut it down and not start a fire? Now for us, this combination of series and parallel works really well for our application. Uh, we're able to pull enough power to keep our batteries charged. Uh, the only time we struggle a little bit is in the fall when we're not getting the sun as high in the sky, but in the summer, it works great. We have 400 amp hours of batteries, so it's not a huge system, but it's plenty to run our little cabin. And that's it for today's video, guys. If you enjoyed stopping by, please hit that like button and subscribe. I'm going to leave a link around the screen here to some of our other videos. Take care, guys. See you next time.